guys, how are you? All right, we have an interesting little experiment here. So a friend of mine who has the Jane Davenport paints sent me a swatch card of the Brights palette. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but not only do I probably not need any more watercolor paints, um, my stores never even have them in stock. If they do get them in stock, they sell out right away. So I thought, okay, uh, the palette looks really interesting. I wonder if I have colors that will work or are close enough. So I started doing some, some comparison swatches here and I thought I'd turn the camera on. So first I thought, okay, in my artist paints, what do I have? Well, I really like Daniel Smith, so do they work? Yes, they do, I think. So this one is... Um, for this color here, Butterfly, this is Daniel Smith's Manganese Blue. And I have no idea if that's how you say it. I don't know. That's pretty good. Um, let's see. Got my other Daniel Smith palette here. So we have, um, I just did that one because it's I think the only one out of this palette here. Yeah, I like that. Uh, cyan might be a little closer, but that's pretty good in the colors that I have. Um, I would be happy with that. So in my regular Daniel Smith palette, we're gonna start with the yellow Oh, actually, I take that back. This is from over here, too. So in my neon palette, I also have a Daniel Smith Quinophylone Yellow. Quin Yellow. We're going to just call it Quin Yellow because I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, <laughs> like in any way, shape, or form. And um, in Jane's palette, she has a color called Buzzy. That's a pretty good match right there. That's pretty bright. Okay, and then we have, um, in, in place of Ladybug, I have Quidoquidone Red. That's pretty good, too. Oops, got some yellow in the red. Let's get that out of there. <laughs> So that's pretty good. Um, for the Jane's 70s eyeshadow color, I thought Sleeping Beauty Turquoise might be close. I don't have one in Daniel Smith that I think is closer. That's pretty good. Then we have Thalo Green. Thalo green? Yeah. Yes, Thalo green, sorry. Which is next to the Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Alrighty. And that's in place of Mermaid. It's a little more green and le and not as blue. But I think it would work. Then in place of Jiminy. I have Daniel Smith's yellow green, phthalo yellow green. That's pretty good. Then down here we have opera pink. Now Daniel Smith are artist quality watercolors. They're not um, craft watercolors, so they're expensive. Um, but you can probably, I need to get more water in that because that's not picking up much pigment. Um, there we go. You probably can, um, do this in cheaper paints. The idea is to look around and see what you have. Um, this in place of fairy tale, this is Quidoquidum Rose. And I'm just trying to match them without mixing anything. 
Um, in place of Frida, we have Quadacridone Magenta. That looks like a pretty good match. Okay, in place of Mystic, I have Quidocridone Purple. Again, that's a pretty good match. And in place of Royal, we have Blue Violet. Pretty good, again, pretty good match. And in place of ink, we have Solidite. So those are pretty good matches. If you look here and here, that's pretty good. You can get a nice bright palette using uh, what paints that you have. In my case, I have lots of Daniel Smith, so I'm using that. Now, I do want to show you, this is... The, this is my Prima palette. Now I've t I've unboxed four of my Prima sets into one box. Um, this contains cla the classics, tropicals, decadent pies, and pastel dreams. So in place of we're gonna just write. Oops. We'll write Prima here on the side. In place of Buzzy, I'm thinking we go with number five. They have numbers instead of names. Ladybug. Um, number 39. Uh, Butterfly. I'm going to guess number 36. 70s eyeshadow pool party number 46 when they first came out they didn't have names and the newer sets have names I think anyway um, in place of mermaid number 45 Yeah, let's try 45. In place of Jiminy. Oh, Jiminy might be hard. Let's try 16. In place of Best Friend, let's try number 2. In place of Fairy Tale, let's try 22. In place of Frida, let's try 19. In place of Mystic, let's try 48. Blue, uh, in place of Royal, let's try number 9. And in place of ink, let's try 35. And let's see what happens, shall we? I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so just so you can see the palette. You don't need to see the brush. Okay, so first we have number 5, which is the yellow. And again, these are Prima paints. The five is from the classics. That's a little bit contaminated. My palette's actually dirty. There we go. Number 39, which is this pink down here. Okay, number 36. These are a really close match, you guys. I don't have all of the Primas. They may have closer matches on some of the colors in another set. I don't know. But using what I have, I think these are pretty close.
The one that's not super close is probably the Substitute for Mermaid. And I don't know if you did number 13 instead. Yeah, number 13 might be a closer match. Let's actually lift that. And let's change our little number at the bottom. White out corrector. This is fabulous. Okay, so let's do number 13 down here because I think that might be closer. Yeah. And then the substitute for Jiminy, I put number 16. The Daniel Smith yellow green I think is closer and there's really nothing, uh, I can't even switch them to get it closer. That, not that number 16 is not a nice color, but I think this one's a lot closer. It's almost the exact same color. Um, number for best friend, we're going to try number two. Yep, that's a good color com uh, substitute. For fairy tale, we're going to try 22. I wasn't sure on these next two if I put them in the right order or not. <laughs> I don't, or if they should have been, you know, switched. For Frida, we're going to try number 19. I think those are pretty close, though. For Mystic, we're going to try 48. For Royal, we're going to try number 9. You might have wanted number 9 here. I think that might be closer. Yeah, and you know what? I think that we want number 20 next in place of Royal. So I think this should be 20. Yeah. And then the last one we picked number 35. Yeah, which is pretty good. So really the only one in the Prima palette that doesn't match closely is the yellow green um, Jiminy color. Um, but if you took number 16 and we mixed it with um, number, maybe number eight. I don't know, that's not, nope. Let's try number eight and number five. Nope. They're really the closest one um, is the Daniel Smith. It's almost exactly. There may be another Prima palette out now that has a closer color. But the one I have doesn't. You take Bumblebee. You want to take a, like a really bright yellow. Bumblebee is a good bright yellow. And a really bright blue. Let's try 46.
Mm. That's close. I don't. I don't think you're going to get um, pretty very close, to be honest. But there you go. So there are substitutes. Um, I would recommend the Daniel Smith Yellow Green for the Jiminy color, but you could mix. What was this? This was number 43 and number 46 from the Pastel Dream set. Um, that would maybe work. Um, but look around in your um, collection of paints and see what you have, what you can substitute um, for. I will try to um, take a picture of this, like a close-up shot for you all, um, so you, that you can see and maybe um, figure out. I'm gonna change this one. It's number nine. Anyway, I'll take a picture of it. I should really let I this wonder dry. why it's not sticking. <laughs> All right, I'll let it dry. I'll scan it, and then you guys can have a copy of it so you can look through your stash of stuff and see what you have. But don't worry if you if you can't if you're like me and you can't ever find it in stock. There's usually a substitute. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to support my channel, please, if you can. If you want to join one of my Facebook groups, the links are in the description below. And the most important thing, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.